guys, welcome back to our channel. <laughs> Ignore the black circles under my eyes, but I got mascara on them from last night and they still haven't been wiped off. But Zoe and I are here together. The girls are at their friends, gave us a little bit of time together. We stopped by the store, did something very, very bad. We went shopping. <laughs> Actually, I had to because the girls are in need of some stuff. Anyways. I'm about to bathe Zoe. She had a poop explosion. Look at, you can't even see it, but it's not pretty back there. And um, she's gonna have a quick little bath. And we decided to do, girl, what is wrong with you? Oh, what's, what's, what's the matter with you, girl? Ah, Yeah, I'm gonna bathe her really quick. So this is currently happening. Here I've got her towel. And somewhere over there, I've got her diaper and her dress. I'm in the kitchen, so I'm gonna actually use coconut oil that's down here, which is what I use on her body to begin with, but it's in the, it's very convenient because it's in the kitchen and I don't have to worry. I don't have to trek all the way back up the stairs to get it. So, time to go change your little bottom and put you in the tub. I also picked up this um, thing for her at the consignment store. Let me show you guys what it is. So, it's this thing right here. And it's just supposedly good for washing their hair, but I'm obviously going to use it to rinse her off. So we'll see how it goes. <laughs> Clearly that's not sponsored. It's not sponsored. It's something that I just came by and it was relatively inexpensive. $2.99. Hmm. So, um, yeah, while I was over, <laughs> while I was talking to you guys, I like, obviously I had the sink in mind. I'm think thinking about the tub and I didn't want to overflow, but it filled up so much and I had to use a bowl to scoop out some of the water because so it goes mayhem in the tub and I don't want to get water all over the kitchen floor. I just want to make this quick. <laughs> There's still a little bit too much water in here. First, we take the washcloth and we soap it. <laughs> it's been nice. It's nice. You girls are so busy throughout the week. They have soccer, and obviously, I do participate in soccer. Like, I, I go. I'm one of those parents that go and watch the kids. But at the same time, um, you know, they do other things in the week, like youth that gives them, they're gone for a few hours or when they go to the band practice with their friends, they're gone for, it's okay, you're good. They're gone for several hours. So it gives me good time to bond with the baby. So even though I'm a homeschooling mom to three children, I have four, but I only homeschool three. Um, you know, I'm not with them 24 seven because they do have activities that they're gone to. I just don't film any of it like I've mentioned recently because you know, I'm not there with them for the most part. And also they are respectful of their friends. I, I, obviously as they get older, you know, they'll probably, um, they'll probably, uh, get consent and stuff, you know, from their friends and whatnot and might vlog a little bit more and Mick might not want to take the camera with her and vlog some of her friends and stuff, but that, or we'll cross that bridge when we get there. We're not there at that moment. So I hope you guys are enjoying just our vlogs with our family. This is usually what most YouTubers build their foundation on anyways. They, it's just them and their family. And you know, when obviously when it takes off and it gets bigger, whoever wants to be a part of it can be a part of it. Who doesn't, doesn't have to be, but you know, like you guys heard, I'm looking to transform this more into a business than just for fun because it does take my time. But it's willing time. It's time that I obviously ha was always willing to to um, give and just because I enjoy making these videos. Though I think before when it was just for fun, I think um, I kind of fed off of the comments of those of you guys who are just so positive and who just said our family uplifts uplifts them and just put you know kind of like a smile on their face and. I can respect that because I, like I mentioned before, I used to watch a lot of YouTubers myself back in the day when I was just a homeschooling mom, a young mom. I was probably just 20 with Michaela at home and yeah, I had a lot more time to kill back then. So those channels were really uplifting to me. They put a smile on my face, especially when Aaron was in university and had he was just had so many so many demands outside of just being a dad to you know a newborn yeah and uh 
Yeah, it was, you know, there were a lot of times that were very challenging for me when I felt alone or I felt just not abandoned because I was married and I had my husband, but he was just like I said, he was just busy because, you know, he's an engineer for those of you who are new and that's a very demanding program to be in. Requires a lot of studying, five years of, you know, just a lot of hard work and he also went ahead and did his master's. Ah! So yeah, it's just, there's just a lot of, um, yeah, back then there were a lot of struggles. So anyways, long story short, family vlogs have always been like, kind of near and dear to me that's kind of why I was inspired to start one myself but it's really cool these days that it can become a business and that's obviously what I aspire for now and that's why I'm trying my best to put out content and put out um uh, you know just put out the best quality videos I can um in the meantime I'm trying to work on upgrading like I don't want to jump into it because you guys know we just had a baby and we're just there's there are just a few things that we're trying to there are definitely a few things that details of things that we're trying to work out for um just our own our own um situation you know we just got our house last year and so that's been kind of like a bit, bit of a stretch like you want to get into the market and you have a home and I'm very grateful but like at the same time like we're not rich so Everything comes at in a timely manner and I can't just jump on the wagon just because I want to pursue this which is just this is I want to pursue it but at the same time because it's not generating income like that I can't just throw money into it so I'm trying to work with what I have and I'm trying to work with what I have and try to just upgrade in a timely manner and try to make the best create the best content that I can for you guys that you all like. Are you getting cold? We should hurry. Someone had recently suggested that I do the whole Patreon thing because I've noticed other people have been doing it, other YouTubers, but I don't know. Do you suggested that, but I've never, I've seen it done for a long time. And as of late, I've seen a lot of YouTubers doing it, but I don't know if that's something I feel comfortable doing. And I don't know if it is something to, that's worth pursuing. Obviously no one would be, if I ever did it, no one would be obligated to, give what they don't have or what they don't want to give it's not that no one's begging anyone for anything it's just a matter of showing support to help grow our channel and i guess to i don't know to help um just fund it towards the growth of it because to grow it does require a little bit of money and um sometimes it's not there and i'm trying to be really real with you guys you guys have seen me since i came back and i committed a hundred percent i've been getting videos out for you guys consistently my timing perhaps isn't always consistent, but even if I'm late, it's usually not too far off. I'm doing my best. And even if I'm late, I try to double up on videos for you guys. But it's going to come, oh my, oh gosh. Okay, yes, it's time to come out. Like you are gonna soak this kitchen. You're gonna soak the kitchen. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Right way, booba. This is not right. Say hi, everyone. Hi, how are you? Mwah. Anyways, I'll probably continue this conversation after. Thank you guys for being there with me. Honestly, I enjoy making videos. It's really, really cool because obviously I'm a gabber. I like to talk, you know, so. Um, hence why I studied psychology. <laughs> Actually, I, you know, with psychology, there's a little bit of both. You want to talk, but you also have to listen to be a psychologist. So, um, yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna just get her dressed over here. Oh, let's get the coconut oil. Let's see if it's all. I had coconut oil right here. Took it out this morning because it was in the fridge and I was trying to use it to wipe off this mascara, this eyeliner that's still on my face, making me look like a raccoon. Hi guys, so this is Zoe. This is what she's wearing for the evening. This beautiful dress that she's almost outgrowing. Yeah, that's one of those dresses that I bought um, in a haul that I think I featured on this channel. If you guys like hauls, definitely go and check it out on my mommy channel because that's where I feature a lot of them. I'll probably put a link up here. It's a Gymboree dress. I bought it and it was thrifted and Gymboree clothes are really good. They are, um, you know, quite durable. So I do like their stuff and they're really, really cute. So that's it, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed today's little mini chit chat. Um, yeah, I said I was going to come back to it, but I don't know what else to add to that conversation. 
conversation. Um, yeah, just leave a comment down below and let me know what you think of what I was mentioning about the whole Patreon thing. I don't know about it. I'm still unsure because it's not something that's usually in my alley, but I do at the same time can understand um, supporting channels that you are fond of. And I know like even as a small YouTuber, I still support channels. As you guys can see, I do mention the names of channels on here. Sorry, I'm, I'm nursing. I do mention do mention and give credit to those channels that have um, inspired me and I don't hesitate to ever give anyone a shout out or give a video a like like I know YouTube is a big space and I know it's very competitive but at the same time I don't take away a like from a video that I like because I'm just nervous or scared that oh my gosh they're growing big I just like to support people and so I can understand when people try to do the the same for others so comment down below and let me know what your thoughts are on that um don't please like I said don't take offense or hesitate or um think by any way in any way shape or form that there's any requirements of you guys but like I said I know it is something that is there that can personally help a channel here and there yeah it is definitely something that I'm gonna pray about and it's gonna be something that really though okay it's your time to shine go ahead what do you have to say nothing nothing she's got nothing to say um yeah so um if yeah I'm gonna pray about it and if I do start one because I remember start trying to start one ages back but like I said, like, I remember trying to do a registration for one back in the days, but I didn't follow through with it. So I had to check to see if that account is even still there. Um, but if I do create it, I will just put it in the, the link in the description box and, um, yeah, I'll just put it there and I, like, like I'd have to figure, I have to figure out the details still. So anyways, yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying your time, enjoying your weekend and, um, much love to all of you. Hi guys, thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to join the tribe. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. <laughs>